the Roland V Combo VR09. Hello and welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. It feels like an age, but it's not been for you. If you're on my Patreon, of course, you get it straight away. So you'll see that I managed to do two or three videos together and built up a few on the Yamaha series, which was pretty impressive. I think you'll agree. Today, I've got the V-Combo VR09 Roland. It kind of uh, completes the five or six trilogy that I've got going on with organs. And maybe I can do a compare and contrast of them all side by side later on, which would be quite nice. I'm going to try and do this a bit of justice. I've been interested in the um, the Roland Hammonds for quite a while because a lot of people use them. The price point is very good, and that's why they're very common. So I wanted to have a look at it. I want to mess around with D-beam as well. I'm not quite sure I've got that how it needs to be. Um, as I have only just switched this on and put my hand over it, and, and some bits worked, some bits didn't work. Um, Natively, I think it doesn't work out of the box with the with the organ, but we'll, we'll look at that later. So uh, we'll do a few, we'll do a couple of videos here. We've got D beam effects, organ, piano, synth, drums. Got it. I'm not going to work too hard on drums. I'll be honest. So apologies for that. But I will look at the standard, which is becoming the sort of standard now, is that the organ, piano, synth on an organ, sort of pro kind of keyboard. So let's start, what should we do, shall we? Yeah, yeah, okay, well, we do, we always do, don't we? So let's start with the organ sound, it's, it's important. Um, there, there's a lot of effects here. I've got overdrive, tone, compressor, that's interesting. MFX, multi-FX, delay, and reverb. I've got little drawbars, tiny little drawbars, which are nice and cheap to make, and they're laid out how you would. And I can also see in synth mode, you've got attack, decay, and release as well. Up the top here, you've got some sign, I've got some waves there as well. Okay, so it's the, the multifunction. Uh, they're not bad to feel, there's no click as it goes across, but the screen is quite nice, shows you what's going on. Um, if I'm honest, it's all right. They're obviously they're trying to get them in smaller so you can get them onto the onto the organ, but you know what? I'll take that. It's, it's all it's all right, it, re it really is. Uh, okay, so let's do the, the pull out as it were. <laughs> Uh, Leslie on slow. Okay, what do you think? Well, I think with you, as with usual, those all those uh, sounds very nice. I mean, it does sound very nice. Uh, let's go to our sort of standard set. Okay, not bad, not bad at all. Bright. If you come from those roll, the Roland background, as I have, I worked my way up. Uh, I, I, I live my life backwards. I started with the Jupiter 8, um, which, I mean, I don't like to mention it, which I sold for £400. Um, and then I went up through the FM synthesis and the D50 and all of the, the JVs, you remember, and the XPs and all those kind of stuff. The organ is not in there at the moment. And a little bit of a thinness. 
but all right, it's all right. So let's, let's see how we get on. So um, let's go into it, Mike, just to take your solo mode. Okay, I can hear reverbs and stuff. It's got the Roland little thing on where there's, um, there's a setting and then if you start knocking them all, it changes a little bit. So I suppose we need to turn it all down, don't we, and like that. Tone. Tone. Interesting sweep there. Have a look at that compressor. It's bringing up that contact sound, isn't it? That's quite good. there for a moment. Reverb's on. We don't want delay, do we? Great fun, but we don't want it. Uh, great fun indeed. Now before we go on to the Leslie, let's have a look at the overdrive. So there's an engage. I can hear it engage there. Just there. Oh, hello. So even just engage is quite nice, isn't it? So from off to engage. To too far, it, go, it goes too far, doesn't it? Right, well, that's that's common because you use the same circuit for when the Leslie's off, and we'll have a look at that and see if that's the case as well. Same as that, the, the YC. I would have been very happy with that sound uh, in my youth, very happy. I'm feeling that little bit of a middle hump that we've come across a few times, but let's see if we can't work it out. A little balance change. I'm trying to work out where that, what that balance change is there, from the lower to the right hand. Wondering, if, wondering if it's the uh, compression there. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Again, we'll discover later on if these, if these piano and synth sounds are super fantastic. Is the organ a bolt on or is it the way around? What I'll notice first of all with the uh, keybed, 
It's a synth keyboard. It's not a waterfall, it's got too many functions to do, it's, it's got piano and synth and what have you. Feels like a synth keyboard. Which it is. I think the travels may be a bit less. And despite uh, what you might be hearing, it is easier to play. Uh, <laughs> Have a look in a bit, see what we can do with that, Leslie. It's, it's, it's kind of all in, is that you can hear it, but pretty nice. Up here, you've got oh, type, hold your horses. Oh, hello. So, we've got jazz organ, rock organ, and oh, it goes away pretty quick if you don't mess about. And transistor organ. Oh, there's your three. Like the transistor, but okay. And it's reset stuff, so that's interesting. So if you were flicking type live, which you probably wouldn't do, all of a sudden the overdrive's gone. You have to give it a little wiggle. You remember that old Roland thing? To get it back again. Uh, a lower and upper, so there's your draw bars, so you know which way you're doing your draw bars if you have a split on. Percussion's interesting. Oh, okay, it's done all in the screen. It's a little bit of annoyance, a little bit of annoyance, but I suppose that it's the real estate that's the problem. So you've got to switch it back on, and you've got to go quickly before it forgets. As usual these days, percussion's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's nice. How do I get back on it without... Switching it off. Don't know the answer to that. Oh, well, you know, percussion's brilliant. Vibrato chorus getting better all the time, right? So let's see. Uh, Yeah, a little bit, uh, sort of a tiny bit overdone from first impressions. But... Can I press that off and back on again? Surely not. Someone can tell me what I'm doing wrong there, but... People are getting really good at modelling that kind of dirty contact as it goes through the vibrato scanner. And the left hand is kind of overshadowing the right hand in the same way that it doesn't with the Hammond XK5, so... So the right hand seems a bit quieter, but maybe that's that compressor there. Hmm, hmm, okay. Vibrato chorus off. I like those, they're good, you can see what's going on. I, I kind of like the way that once you've made the change, after a few seconds it goes back again to where you were to show you where your draw bars are if you're on lower or upper. That's a stage implement, if ever, if ever there was one. Right, are we ready, guys? And girls. Do you want to have a listen to the rotary sound, TM? Switch the chorus off first, eh? Okay, answers on a postcard. Uh, sounds to me like the upper rotor's got a very tight belt. I mean, that's that's flying up, but maybe that's the uh, the style du jour, and um, the bass is a little bit slow. I must admit, on my Leslie 3300 on stock setting, 
when I'm switching the bass off, so I'm coming out of a chorus into a verse with a Leslie on slow, I can still hear it whacking my trousers, da -ka -da, da -ka -da, as it's slowing down sort of a few seconds into the verse. So I've actually changed my settings a little bit to make that a bit faster slow down to, to match really my gigging 147, I think. The treble rotor goes up fast, but not as fast as that, I don't think. Dun dun da la la la. Seems quite quick, doesn't it? Hello, hello, hello. So I pushed the, what was in Roland terms, your oscillator vibrato, and it switched the Leslie on and off. I wonder. Okay, so you can, you can go. So you can, the pitch bend, flick the pitch bend, either, either way. Either way, and it works as a Leslie fast slow, which is beautiful, because it's kind of the right place for it. Well, it's not bad. It's not bad, is it? I mean, you, you know, the, the, there's, a, there's a price point for sure. Though we're near the price of an XK5, so that would be unfair. Today's uh, video, of course, is brought to you by F Blues. I'm sorry about that. Um, it, it's okay. <clears throat> it's not too bad. If you want to ask me some more questions, get me on the Patreon, Nick Foley UK, that's the place to get the direct responses, although I do try and get in touch with most of you if I can. Okay, I think that's not too bad, not too bad at all. My first impression is really good. Uh, you've got a level, okay, independent volume, that's fine, I suppose that makes sense when you're balancing stuff like that. Uh, I think the effects are quite powerful. It's very Roland-y. If you like Roland, I think you're going to be you're going to be happy with this. Um, it's not so not so Amon Suzuki e. The keyboard, the feel is different. The travel is different. Tactile, different, uh, different there. I do like the screen. Sounds a bit affected. It's uh, I always used to think it was the the position in the virtual chain of all the items, you know. So it goes in. It goes a certain way, doesn't it? Sort of preamp, and then um, the audio, and then the amplifier, and then the spinny thing, you know. And uh, where's the reverb sit, and all that. And sometimes they sound a little bit affected. I mean, you can't blame them, can you? Considering. <laughs> Not bad, not bad really. It's all there. I shouldn't be too snobby about it in, in many respects because I am sort of sitting it on top of a 1960 C3, so I've got to, got to get my head into, into gear there. But it ain't too bad. <laughs> SFX Spring Shock. <laughs> all right, you, you've got to love that, haven't you? So, you know. There we go, there we go, there we go. What? Okay, I could, I could do that forever, uh, frankly. Let's have a quick look with Leslie Off, seeing as I did accidentally just do that, so.
Yeah, that's lovely. Uh, that is absolutely lovely, and why, why wouldn't it be? Okay, so we've had a quick look at the organ section. I hope that's been useful for you. Um, I'll let you know what I think later. Just catch me on Patreon, you get the whole thing right. Like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. It's a nice thing to do, isn't it? It means so little in a way, but it means so much in a way. So if you can, that'd be fantastic. I do appreciate it. And maybe we're going to have a look at the piano and the synth sounds a bit later on and see how we get on from there. Lovely. Right, well, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.